Hello everyone, here I have someone else's drone that is having some sort of electrical issue that I'm going to try to fix. And I initially wasn't going to film this video, but unfortunately, the reality in this industry is that there are a lot of companies making low quality products with poor quality control. So if you haven't run into this kind of electrical issue already, you probably will in the future, which is rather unfortunate. So I wanted to shoot this video to just briefly cover my troubleshooting process, and maybe that will have some value to you if and when you run into these kinds of electrical issues in the future. So let's get this drone back in the air. All right, let's see what the problem is. When we go to plug in, nothing. And let's just try to arm. And nothing. So that is our issue. All right, so when you're troubleshooting, you generally wanna do the easiest thing first. And to me, that's just looking at everything and seeing if there's something obviously wrong, if there's some kind of burn marks or something like that. Uh, that's a very obvious indicator that something's gone wrong. I will also throw in that if something is fried, especially the ESCs, uh, they like to take other things down with them. So, you would also want to check for that if there's something that looks burned. But honestly, I am not seeing right now anything. Another thing that I've noticed is that when we plug it in here, there's no lights on the flight controller. So the next thing I want to check is actually powering the flight controller separately to see if the flight controller works in some sense. So I've just got my USB cable here and we're going to plug that in. Okay, we do get lights. So somewhere along the line, the flight controller is not getting power. And the way the flight controller gets power on this build is it gets it through the ESC. So this to me is indicating there might be something wrong with the ESC because between the battery and the flight controller, somehow the flight controller isn't getting power. Now it could be something's wrong with the battery cable or something's disconnected. So we can take a closer look uh, the solder joints look fine. And another thing we could do is if we listen here, uh, we'll see if we get a little spark between the leads, which means there is power at least getting to the capacitor. So yeah, we do get the little spark noise. So there's definitely power getting from the battery to the pads on the ESC. The sure way to tell this is to use a multimeter, but I don't have a multimeter. I'm not sure how I still don't have a multimeter. That's on the list of things to buy, but that can be very handy as well when you're trying to figure out problems. If a component is not getting power at all, it's not gonna function. All right, another thing I've noticed is that when I plug it in, we get the click with the little spark between the connectors, but there's no beeps from the motors at all. So, I'm not 100% sure if this means that the ESC is not working properly because I can't remember if the ESC is supposed to make beeps when the flight controller gets no power and it's not sending a signal to the ESC. So to make sure of that, I've got a drone that I know works and what I've done is I've completely disconnected the flight controller, which also means there's basically nothing connected to the ESC except for the motors and the battery cable. So we're gonna plug this in and see if it makes any beeps. And if it does make beeps, then it's another indicator that the ESC on our problematic drone has some kind of issue. So let's see what happens. Okay, so there you go. You get the initialization beeps, but not the second set of beeps, which I guess means that the flight controller is sending a signal to the ESC. So. That's another indicator that the ESC on this problematic drone is having some kind of issue. Okay, so at this point, the prime suspect is the ESC. So I've popped the flight controller off the top and we can give it a visual inspection a little bit closer, but I'm still not seeing anything. But a lot of times you won't see anything. There's just something at kind of the microscopic level that is going wrong. So that's my best guess. But to try to make extra sure, I've unplugged everything from the ESC except for the motors. So in case there is some kind of oddball issue from the camera or the flight controller or the video transmitter, um, we're removing that from the equation so that we're isolating the ESC the best we can. And 
see if we get the same result. And if we do, I'm 90% sure it's the ESC. So same result. So at this point, this is when we whip out the soldering iron and we're gonna just try to replace the ESC and see if that fixes the problem. All right, just like that, the new ESC is in and we're going to see if this thing makes some beeps now. So I still have the flight controller disconnected from the ESC. So the only things connected to the ESC are the motors and the battery. All right, so now I have beeps. So it looks like the issue was the ESC. And something I'll note here is there's nothing visible on either side indicating that it has a problem. And this is kind of a common occurrence where there is something wrong with a component, but you can't actually see it. So you have to troubleshoot and use deductive reasoning to figure out what's going on. Okay, so now I've got the flight controller connected and hopefully we'll be able to plug in and arm and get the motors to spin. All right, let's try arming. There we go. So it looks like we figured out the problem. All right, that is it. Thankfully, we were able to identify the problem, swap the ESC, and now this drone is ready to get back in the air where it belongs. And I shared a couple troubleshooting tips in this video, but I know there's a lot more out there and I'm sure you guys have some really good ones from your experiences. So please share your troubleshooting tips down in the comments so that we can all benefit from your knowledge. Thanks for watching.